Is it walking this way or not? Not yet, not yet. Go ahead, you guys. Oh. Oh, it's charging. It's charging. Good. Internet. It is 7.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I am now at Itosha Heights here in Namibia and I think today is going to be one of the most exciting days in two and a half years of motorcycling. This morning when I woke up there was lion roaring almost next to my room. I know, right? So I got the unique opportunity to join one of the field men today and he rides a motorcycle through the park so every day he sees lion he sees elephant he sees rhino there's hyena there's cheetah all of the big game is here and he rides through that on his motorcycle checking fences because the elephants are quite destructive so they often break through fences so he has to repair them he's checking water holes and that sort of thing so that is his daily job on the motorbike and today I am going to join him. I'll show you what the plan is for today. So this is the Itosha Heights so it has a rather peculiar shape and on the southern side here this is where the farmlands are and this is where the electric fence is and on the north side that's where the Itosha National Park is and I'm now somewhere in this area and today we're both going to check some fences on the south side where it's electric and on the north side at the national park and see if everything is still okay and we're going to check some of the water holes as well okay are you ready oh, this is going to be a crazy crazy day oh look at this beautiful sunrise amazing so the name of the field man is uh, Esso he's been doing this work for nine years so nine years he goes out in the reserve <laughs> on this little motorcycle this man has no fear We're just going to ride next to each other so we don't have to ride in each other's dust. And then there's also uh, one of the guides that works here, Gravin, who I also met yesterday. He's also joining us in the car behind, so he can also keep an eye out for uh, any animals. Or any dangerous animals, must I say. So normally, Esso would just be riding alone. There have been two lions spotted around here. Just gonna see where they are. Okay. Somewhere here the lions were seen. Let's see if they're still there. I think they were at this water hole. The lion is there. I let them also after that. Okay. Mm. So he saw the lions. I can't see them. I just saw two uh, wildebeest. But the lions are there also. These lions are just, they're just here. They are here, here. Yeah, I see them. <gasps> I see the two lions, they're, they're now running off. 
on the one side. I just saw their backs. Yeah, oh, I see it. I saw a tail. Yeah, I see a lion walking. Oh my God. I see, I see Xiza, Xiza. Yeah. I'm literally less than 50 meters away from two lions. Yeah, I see them walking. They are huge. You won't, you won't see it on the GoPro, I'm so sorry. It's the sun, it's right against the sun. And they're walking in between these bushes here. But all the time I see sightings of them. Oh, it's looking at us. It's looking at me. Oh, it's running. Okay, we're continuing the patrol. We left uh, the lions behind. Oh, there's a water hole here. So now Esso, this is his job. So now he checks if the water levels are good. So these water holes are artificial. So they use pumps to pump up um, deep water for the animals here. There, the zebra. Oh, look, they're quite close. See, crossing the road here. Wow. <laughs> oh, they're so fast. They're so fast. Look, there's more. They're all crossing the road here. Look, look, look. Oh. Around the horses. Oh, what a dust. So the water holes that we are checking today, uh, they're artificial. So they use pumps to pump up deep water, groundwater, up to the surface for the animals. And you would, you would think like, oh, but that's not natural which it isn't. But of course you have the Itosha National Park and also this game reserve, there's fences around it. So the animals can't move away uh, in search for water if it's a dry time. So it makes sense that if we as humans put fences around and keep the animals in one place, then you should also look after them. So that's why they create these artificial uh, water holes. Checking the water level of this water hole. Which one is lion footprint? Oh yes. Oh yeah. You can see the lion footprint there. It's so big, eh? Yeah. It's almost as big as my hand. <laughs> Oi. You can see this one is the black rhino footprint. Oh wow. So we det you can determine on the black rhino footprints and the white rhino footprints. So the black rhino footprints is quite smaller. But the white one is quite big because okay. the white one is bigger in body size yeah. because they are grazers uh -huh. and then the black rhinos because they are browsers so they are smaller in body size. But it could also be like a small elephant. Yes. No? <laughs> <laughs> a small elephant, do you see the, the, the elephant it does not show the like the, the nails. Oh right, yeah. Ah uh, yeah yeah. For the black rhino, then you see your elephant is this one. Ah uh, yeah. Elephant is just like flat. flat. Yeah. The footprints of the elephant is just the elephant which we've shown now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that big bush was the one which was here. They're super fresh. Yeah. yeah. So in that, seeing that, you can also see the lion which was just drinking now. Oh, just now? Yes. Ah. If you saw the elephant there, yeah. then the, el the lion was also drinking. Comes after. Yes. So maybe we should also keep an eye out for lions? For Continuing patrol. On to the next place, we're going to check one of the fences to see if elephants didn't break through the fence. The grass is standing quite tall here. You can't really see what's hiding in there.
nice little bike. So I enjoy having a partner in crime doing so. Mostly what they do is the southern border of the fence, that's the electrical fence that I passed uh, when I entered in the last video. So the southern part of Itasha Heights, that borders the farms. So it's really important that that fence stays intact because otherwise predators can go to the farms and they'll kill cattle and then you get conflict with the farmers and all of that. So that's very important that they check that. But the northern side of the fence, so that fence um, that borders the Itosha National Park, that's elephants, they just break it all the time. So there's all the time animal movement between the Itosha National Park and this uh, reserve, the, uh, the Itosha Heights. And uh, yeah, they just all the time constantly break it, break it, break it and just pass through. And then once an elephant made a passage, then lion will come and well, all sorts of animals come. The rhino can move up and down as well. So yeah, that's just Esso's job, you know, checking that that's all fine. Uh, just incredible. I cannot imagine riding here on a motorcycle every single day. It's Oh look here, here is the fence broken already, sorry, yeah, the elephants, they took this all down, yes, all right, so this is the gate or the, the fence, which is the boundary between Itosha Heights and the Itosha National Park, and this fence, the elephants break through them all the time. And here you can see what happens when an elephant thinks, okay, now I want to come here. And then now the whole fence is down. So then obviously all the other animals can also move freely between the national park and, and here. So when it's like a big break like this, then uh, Esso will report it so that uh, it can be fixed again. See, that's another fence break here by elephant. There's walls straight through. And then I think this little fence, I mean, I think they can just step over. <laughs> there are vultures circling here. Usually that means a kill. Here, this is the third break in maybe one kilometer. All this needs to be repaired again. See another place, the elephant came through there and then, well, you can see by the droppings, <laughs> they went straight through here. <laughs> oh, it's dusty, eh? Oof. These bushes have massive thorns on them. Oi! I have to ride a little bit careful because there's thorns. Look how big they are. Look, <laughs> just riding past these thorns the whole time. I just got a uh, radio, which is quite nice, so we can communicate a little bit easier. Is it walking this way or not? Not yet, not yet. You guys. Oh, oh, it's charging, it's charging. Okay, it's moving away. <laughs> it's right there. Look, it's right there on the road now. Crossing the road. Oh, look, there the elephant is. <gasps> look. Wow, it is big, hey. Oi, look, there it is. Oh, stunning. Hey, giraffe. Hi, do you do? 
are all females. It's only one young male which is on a far distance on the right there. Ah, so it's all young female and one male on the right. And there's just two babies just behind the bush here, look. Yeah, they're quite young. These are not so big yet. Gorgeous, aren't they? Whole group of zebra again here. Yeah, they're gonna cross. Now I have sight on it. Now it's looking me right in the eye. No, if it's fine, you can let me know. Yeah, it's fine. I, I see it now. I see now the whole lion. Oh, there's one. Oh, no. Yeah, there's one right here. Right here, just behind that bush now. It's now just walking away there. He's just looking. <laughs> 